Hey there, classic rock lovers, and welcome to Classic Reviews, where we review classic rock albums, and today we have an exciting treat for you. So get ready for an epic CD review that will hopefully leave you craving to listen to this band. The CD we will be reviewing will be a short live album by the legendary rock band ACDC called... If you want blood, you've got it. So this live album came out in October, November 1978, and it features songs started from 1975's TNT album up until 1978's Power Age album, and some of these songs are more well-known than others. As well as a great album title, you do also get great front and back album covers. They both feature Angus Young being impaled by his own guitar, and also on the front cover, you get an intense image of Bon Scott singing with his eyes bulging out. So the live tracks on this CD are from a gig performed in Glasgow, I think, at the end of April in 1978. And there is some footage of that gig online. And the band did perform the song Dog Eat Dog at that concert, but that particular song is not featured on this album. So, with the track by track, as this is a live album and not a greatest hit CD like I usually do, I'm not going to talk about the background of each song so much. So I'll probably talk more about the live performance of each song. And of course, some songs I'll be able to say more about than others. The opening song of this live CD is called Riff Raff. This song is off the Power Age album and is a raucous opening high energy track, which is a great opening song that sets the tone for the rest of the concert. The second song on this live album is called Hell Ain't A Bad Place To Be. This song is from the Let There Be Rock album, and this song has to be one of my favourite songs on this album. This is a hard-hitting rock song that features Malcolm Young perfectly laying down some stop-start riffage. Staying on the Let There Be Rock album for the third song on this live album, and it's the song called Bad Boy Boogie. This boisterous live performance is about three minutes longer than the original studio recording, and that is due to an extended one called Middle, where Angus Young would do his strip routine, and then after that you have a pretty ferocious last couple minutes of the song. For the fourth song on this CD, we go to the TNT album for a song called The Jack. This live performance of what, it, or what is one of ACDC's most performed songs really emphasises the band's blues influence and the sleaziness of the song, as you get to hear Bon Scott really playing with the crowd, and he even changes, changes the lyrics, I think, to make this song sound even dirtier. Track number five is called Problem Child. This is the only song of this live CD we hear from the Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap album, and it has to be one of the best songs on this album. This live version is a great fast-paced performance that's about a minute shorter than the original studio recording. Track number six is the ACDC classic Whole Lotta Rosie from the Let There Be Rock album. This is said to be the live performance of this song. It's a rather powerful live performance which is helped by the football style Angus charts in the blues beginning of the song. For track number seven, we go to the Power Age album for the song Rock and Roll Damnation. Can't think of too much to say about this live track, really. It doesn't really have a guitar solo, so it just means you could focus more on the, on the rhythm playing of this song, and you have to give both Malcolm Young and drummer Phil Rudd credit for some very solid and tight playing on this song. For the third to last song on this CD, we go to the TNT album for what is, in a way, ACDC's title track. It, it's the song called High Voltage. This is a good song, and it's also one of the songs of the CD where we get to hear Bon Scott really working the crowd. The second to last song on this CD is the iconic title track of the Let There Be Rock album. A lot of people consider the live performance on this, al on this album the best live performance of that particular song. And it's also the longest song of this album being over eight and a half minutes long, only two minutes something longer than the original studio recording. And with this live performance, you get to hear a lot of crazy guitar playing by Angus Young. The last song on this legendary live album is simply called Rocker. This is a very fast-paced performance of what is already a fast song, and what you hear on this CD has been edited from the actual real live performance. 
The actual live performance featured an instrumental the band played called Fling Thing, and then went into the song Rocker, and it also featured an extended guitar solo where Angus Young went into the crowd. Fling Thing is an old traditional Scot- Scottish song, I think, that's actually called Bonnie of Loch Lomond, and there is video footage of the full live performance, and in that live performance, the band members are wearing Scottish national team's football kit. So that's a rather short track by track done, and I'm just going to get straight to the point and say that this is a very well produced live album, which features some spot on and high energy live performances. However, I have to say that this legendary live album, which a lot of people put right up there with the best live albums, such as Chick Trick at Buddha Khan, UFO Strangers of the Night, Peter Frampton and Kiss Alive, etc., really could have had a bigger and better track listing. As good as this album is, it would have been better if it featured songs like TNT, Long Way to the Top, Dirty D's Dundurk Chief, Sin City, and even Jailbreak. So that's a wrap, folks. We've, re- we've reached the end of our captivating CD review journey. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming reviews, etc. Trust me, you don't want to miss them. This is Classic Reviews. Check out two videos at the end, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.